Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Brittany Kublau and I am a senior at Holyoke High School. Joining us today is Erica Bulware. She is an adjustments counselor and social worker here at the school. Thank you for joining us, Erica. Thanks for having me here. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself. So I'm a school social worker adjustment counselor here at Holyoke High. This is my third year and I really like what I do. What services does your uh, department provide? Um, so there's actually two school social workers here, myself and Mr. Chris O'Connell. Um, and he and I are both licensed um, clinical social workers. And so we provide all kinds of services to the students here. Crisis services, if students are feeling um, like they're having a mental health crisis, we provide services just around day-to-day -day stress that students might experience around things like taking tests or having interpersonal conflicts with their friends or family members. Um, so really it's quite a lot. I also teach a class um, for one period and, um, and then we oversee together um, five different interns who are learning to become clinical social workers themselves. What is the difference between a guidance counselor and a school social worker? So a guidance counselor and a school social worker might have similar academic backgrounds, um, but the school adjustment counselor or school social worker um, tends to have a clinical background as well, which means they've learned how to do individual and family and group psychotherapy. Um, whereas like a guidance counselor could do a lot more with helping with um, academic success, career success, helping students plan for the future, what they're gonna do. What does a social worker do? Um, what doesn't a social worker do? <laughs> um, so some of the things I listed before, handling crisis situations, um, whenever there are problems that students get into that might have to do with legal issues, with substance abuse issues, mental health issues, um, teaching, you know, teaching the class that we teach, um, which has to do with substance abuse and mental health issues and school achievement and success. Um, and we also run what's called the care team, which is a team that helps, um, takes referrals for students that teachers and family members might be concerned about, maybe concerned that they're struggling in some way. So we take on those referrals and um, try to help the students who are struggling. Um, but there's a lot day to day. And then all, also just like a lot of individual meeting with students um, who may have a need for counseling based on their IEP. Um, or also just might not have a need for counseling based on some other issue that they're struggling with. Hmm. Um, what is your advice to students and families? Oh boy. Um, my advice for students and families is um, be open. Let us know if you need our help. Let us know if we can um, try to support you in any way. There are two of us for um, well over a thousand students, so it's not, um, you know, unfortunately, we can't help in every situation, but we can usually at least point you in the right direction if you need more help. What is the best way to access your services? So my office is <laughs> in the guidance suite, so I'm near all the guidance counselors. Um, and then Mr. Chris O'Connell is up on the second floor. Um, and he works specifically with ninth graders and with the therapeutic intervention program. So if students are in one of those programs, um, that would be a good spot for them to check in. And if they're 10th through 12th grade, um, they would be checking in with me. So that's how to sort of access us, but um, also families and teachers can make referrals to the care team, which is a good way to get us on, get yourselves on our radar as well, so. Is there anything else you would like to add? No, those are great questions, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, thank you for joining us. And we thank you for joining us.